football. And so we will forego the usual opening thoughts today. Oh. And oh. We will die. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> on the channel, there you see Buchanico Eagles, number one seed there, eight and two. Followed by Cedar Cliff, Shippensburg, and then our <laughs> other local teams, Mannheim Central and Warwick, also eight and two. You know, while other teams are going to bang heads on Friday night, we're going to go back and watch them. So that'll be fun watching those other teams bang heads. I mean, so many times when things are going well, you want to keep going. You know, now they get this week off. But on the flip side, you get a chance to rest some guys that you know might be a little bit dinged up right now. Game if that if they would meet Governor Mifflin, that that'll just be run, 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 run the whole time. It'll be the Warp Warriors as they take on the uh, Mechanicsburg Wildcats in a 5-12 matchup. I think you know if if you're Warwick. You go out and you take care of business, try and get that big lead, and then get some of those starters out. In the games that we have done, they were slow out of the gate, but I think you're right. You can't let a Mechanicsburg team, this mm -hmm. first time they've been in the district since 2012, give them a little sense that they belong here. We enjoy the process of the season, but uh, I think everybody gets excited when it's playoff time in Manheim. Look for the linebackers. I think the game plan is going to be put eight guys in the box yeah. because this team just doesn't throw the football. Let's face it, Manum Central is starting to play their best football at the time <laughs> of the year that you want to. And we're still talking District 3 playoffs, only we're switching gears over to soccer. Uh, Isabella Wendler, senior, back in the lineup after an injury, scored both goals, one in the first half, one three minutes after yeah, halftime. She's done, I think. Uh, this will be their third district title game. Uh, when you're playing a team that is on uh, a Cinderella run, uh, you had to put them under pressure, and our team really did a good job of that tonight. We get to play for the Triple A District Three Championship. As I said, looking for second in a row. And control your own destiny. You can't play other games and do other things, and that's what they're doing. They're just winning the games they're supposed to win. And I thought, really, they played well, considering the circumstances too. I mean, a downpour, the way they were able to throw the ball. Mm -hmm. The defense clamped down. We're excited to bring it to you. We'll see you then.